Good morning. It's a beautiful day at Chuck Lewis Wildlife Refuge here in the Yampa Valley. There are cranes, all kinds of songbirds. There's the mountain you can see. It's uh, May 25th and there's a lot of snow up there so anybody brave and willing to do it can skin up and still get some turns. I'm on the valley floor where it's nice and green and I'm going to do a small demo focusing on value. The dark vertical of the trees, the mid-tone dark in the back of the mountains, and the light here on the ground. Here is my initial line drawing on my canvas and I'll show you the value sketch in a minute. Okay, I did my value sketch in my sketchbook. I'm going with the steel yard type composition, four values, um, emphasizing the flat ground on the left. And I have my value scale, which I did uh, the other day in my studio. And this is to test my colors as I mix them and just touch them onto the value scale, make sure that um, it's where I think it is. And I have my stained canvas here, uh, again emphasizing the value study of the sky being the lightest, um, the trees being the darkest, and then those two mid-tones, um, the slope being a dark gray and the ground being a light gray. Again, I'll calibrate that to my value scale that I did here. Uh, All right, here is my simple value study. I started chasing the light a little bit in the trees um, and decided to keep that lighter value um, just because it is springtime and that bright green is uh, so intriguing. Of course, right now you can't see it. <laughs> ah, the artist's eye. Anyway, it was there, and um, so I put that in there, And I, but I tried really to keep those separate values. And um, I want to demonstrate here how I used my value scale. Again, touching on it to make sure that it's right. You can see a few off marks. Um, some of these greens in here were too dark so I lightened them up more. Um, also for the sky trying to keep instead of doing that dark blue keeping it light as possible. Uh, same thing here in these values uh, in the shadows trying not to keep them trying not to get too dark. Um, this value here that really dark value was the trunks. And I know it's the deep, darkest value in the picture and I wanted to make sure it's also the darkest value in the paint. Um, so that was successful. Nice trick that I learned here from Jill Carver is to keep my palette separated as well. So um, I had all my shadows and my darks on the left side and all my lights on the right side and really trying to respect that boundary um, so that you don't cross over and get muddled. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned a bit about um, creating a value sketch, value study, and keeping those values distinct. Have a great day.